It's been an improbably successful season for the Timberline baseball team. Despite lurking below 500 for most of the year, the Wolves not only managed to win the District 3 tournaments, they outlasted all their local competition in the State Tourney 2. Timberline looking to put the icing on the cake of its magical season tonight in the 5A championship game, taking on Coeur d'Alene. The Wolves light up the scoreboard in the first. Mike Stefanik at the dish. Oh, Mikey, I think he likes it. The single scores Cody Price, and it's 1-0 right out of the gate. Stefanik would advance to third and then score on a pass ball later in the inning to make it 2-zip. But Coeur d'Alene answers in the bottom half with a man 90 feet from home. Levi Pereira rips a double down the left field line, and then it's Nick Nyquist. We want more. We want more like you really like it. We want more. He gives the Vikes some more. 2-2 two -two after one. Timberline starter Cody Scott then allowed two infield singles in the bottom of the second, and that was the end of his day. Brian Ulrichson brought in first batter he faces. Welcome to the game, big fella. Ulrichson gets out of the jam unscathed with a diving catch, and the Wolves' bats would carry them from there. Timberline goes on to win the 5A state championship, defeating Coeur d'Alene 6-2. It's the sixth straight title for a District 3 team. In the 4A title game, Casey Bennett looking to turn in another solid start for the lights out Skyview pitching staff, squaring off against undefeated Bonneville at Bishop Kelly High School this afternoon. But it was the Bees pitcher making an early impact. Jalen Furman serves the curb to Daniel Slemmer. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The off-speed stuff earns Reese Vickers a walk back to the dugout. Furman sat down the Hawks in order in the first. Then in the bottom half, trouble for Bennett. He walked the leadoff man. Tyson Craig makes him pay with a deep fly to center. That drives in the first run of the ball game. Later in the inning, Bonneville tacks on another. Furman winning round one against his pitching adversary with that seeing eye single. Two zip Bs after an inning. But the Skyview bats come to life in the second. Matt Lightfoot bloops a single into right. Then Zach Babino gets on base with a knock of his own. The Hawks would load him up with one out. That means there's no room for Slemmer, who picks up an RBI with a walk, and it's 2-1. Next batter is Bennett, and round two goes to him. Helps out his cause with a two-run base hit. The Hawks plated four in the second. But it's the Bees that deliver the final sting, going on to win 5-4. Bonneville takes the 4A state title and finishes the year 26-0. In the 3A championship, Snake River upsets Fruitland 8-4. The Grizzlies had won four of the last five state crowns. Soon to be Boise State linebacker Joe Martirano went two for three in the loss. Over at Rodeo Park, Grangeville beat Nampa Christian 9-8 to win it all in 2A. And the Potlatch Loggers cruise to their third straight title in 1A. Mercying Horseshoe Bend 10-0 in 5.